Wine Wednesday and essential oil stuff. Um, I had a little bit of a technical difficulty, so it may look like I'm not looking at you and I don't know if I am, but I'm having to use my computer tonight. For some reason, the live button um, was missing from my Facebook app on the phone. So here we are, it's just another wild week. Um, I'm not live from my deck, I'm live from um, inside my house by the kitchen and um, I am happy to be here. I missed, I missed last week. Um, I was in Atlanta for business and then went up to Ann Arbor for the weekend. Um, and oh my gosh, it was hot. There were storms. I was glad to be home. But um, I realized getting ready for tonight, I, I kind of missed doing this last week. And did anybody miss me? <laughs> okay, okay. I sound pathetic, I know. Anyway, I am glad to be home. Um, last week, I talked about the emotional um, aromatherapy kit, and I was curious if anyone um, tried any of the six blends that I talked about. And if you did, um, I'd love to know which one you tried and what your um, results were with it. I love the feedback. Um, so let me know. Tonight's wine is a 2017 Cabernet. Um, with the name of, see, I can't even find out where I am here on the screen. <laughs> Sorry, folks. This is weird. Anyway, it's called Trinity Oaks. You can't see the label because of the sun coming in the window, but it's a Cabernet. And I have a little story about this. I had mentioned to you I was up in Ann Arbor, and um, oh, it was brutal between the heat, the storms. And then Sunday night, um, my friend and I, had to tear down her booth, which is like a three to five hour um, project. And we spent the last two hours of that in the pouring down rain. So I, um, when we got back to the hotel, I was pathetic. <laughs> and I went to the little bar, which was already closed because it was Sunday night and it was, you know, after, after hours. And I saw an employee and I said, please, 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 would you sell me something from your bar? And so he sold me this bottle of wine. And, you know, actually, um, it was very reasonably priced. Um, I, I'd say it's an average wine. Um, nothing that I would rave about, but I certainly wouldn't complain, and I would drink it again. But the really cool thing about it is that, again, the name is Trinity Oaks. And when I went online to, um, to look it up, the, the company agrees to plant a tree for every bottle of wine that they sell. So I thought that was kind of cool. And if that's something that appeals to you, you can go to onebottleonetree.com. Um, oh, and I almost forgot. I wanted to show you. My friend gave me a couple pieces to bring home. So look at this. She and her husband make ceramic fish. Look at this little guy. Isn't it beautiful? Just the colors on it are stunning. I, I love that piece. And then here, look at this. This cute little manatee. Oops, I'm trying to hold it so you can see it. Cute little eyes, cute little face, just adorable. Um, Alan and Rosemary Bennett, Clay Fish. Um, Rose and I went to high school together, and we've been doing that show together for 24 years, I think it is now. So anyway, kind of fun. Um, what I want to talk about tonight is um, yesterday's BOGO. Oh, my gosh. The Terra has just been off the charts with these Tuesday BOGOs. Yesterday was buy a blue tansy, get a Roman chamomile, and a tea tree oil for free. And, you know, Roman chamomile is a little bit pricey. So it was a great deal. But I thought, you know, how many of you actually even know what blue tansy is? So I thought I'd just spend a couple minutes and talk about it tonight. It's from the Daisy family. And I have a picture here. Look at those flowers. Aren't they pretty? Beautiful yellow flowers. So why in the heck is it called blue tansy? Well, I'll show you why. I don't know. Can you see? It is blue. It is very blue. Can you see that? <laughs> I'm having trouble seeing myself in my computer because I'm not sure where the camera eye is. Anyway, um, it is blue. And... It should not be confused with regular tansy, 
regular tansy is toxic. So you want to remember the blue um, if you're going to use any other kind of uh, tansy oil. Um, blue tansy affects the nervous system. It has analgesic properties and anti-inflammatory properties. It's used in two of doTERRA's blend. It's used in the balance blend and it's used in the deep blue blend. Um, I know some folks who use balance on their lower back for pain and, and now that explains why, because it has the blue tansy in it. Um, it's recommended for those who deal with fibromyalgia. Um, when I was diagnosed with that years ago, I would have given anything to have something like this to use. Emotionally, it helps you feel grounded. So again, that's why it's included in the balance. Um, it can be used for skin issues. It, it can be used for eczema and psoriasis. I have never had those issues, so I haven't tried it for that. Um, but, um, you know, if you do and you put it on your face, you want to dilute it or put it on at night um, just so that it absorbs because we don't want a bunch of Smurfs <laughs> running around. Um, a word of caution with blue tansy. If you are using um, medications, you want to check with your doctor because blue tansy can um, interact with CYP2D6. Okay, so what the heck is that? Um, it is an enzyme that is responsible for the metabolism and elimination of about 25% of the um, clinical drugs that are used today. Um, I printed a list and most of these I cannot pronounce, so you have to excuse me. But um, some of them are captopril, uh, dextromethorphan, fluoxetine, lidocaine, I recognize that one, metoprolol, paroxetine, spartine, tamolo, uh, thiorizidine. And, and I'm, I'm, again, I'm sorry for the mispronunciations, but the bottom line is, is if you are taking a drug and you are wanting to use blue tansy full strength every day, multiple times a day, um, you know, just check with your doctor to make sure that the, any drugs that you're taking um, are not metabolized by CYP2D6 um, because it could interfere with the, um, you know, the effectiveness of the drug you're taking. Um, blue tansy is often, or I'm sorry, blue tansy is also used in making perfume. Um, so I like the way it smells. I think it kind of smells like um, blueberries or blackberries. And I can smell it really well right now. <laughs> it's on my nose, um, but I like it. It's a great oil for massage. You dilute it, add some lavender, some wild orange. Ugh, you'd just be in heaven. Um, you can use it, uh, make some bath salts. Use it for relaxing. Um, make some bath, bath salts. Mix it with some lavender and some cedar wood. And again, the smell is just heavenly, and it is so grounding, so relaxing. Um, so those are just a couple of things I wanted to tell you about Blue Tansy. If you have any questions, um, get a hold of me, email um, on my website. I do want to let you, oh, I lost my website paper. And you know what, with my, with my, I can't tell if that's backwards, if you're seeing that backwards or not. Um, I had it typed backwards, so because my phone did that. There, there, there we go, that's better. Um, anyway, it's www.sherryoils.com. I have lots of information on there. And I also wanted to um, mention that my August is filling up. And um, if you are interested in hosting an essential oils class, um, I'd love to do one with you. I can do a live class. I can do make and takes. Or we can do a Facebook class. And I can do um, the basics about essential oils on up to whatever subject you might want me to teach about. I have many, many um, different classes. So that's all I had for tonight. Um, my blue nose, my glass of wine and I <laughs> will wish you good, well, good night and I hope you have a great week. See you next week. Bye-bye.